you 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 talked about how um, this is always uh, voluntary to some extent. Um, how do you think that teaching people about the um, the 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 warnings and and the things to to look out for uh, as an individual in relation to defending yourself against psychopathic uh, persons really how do you think that can be scaled up so to speak how, can, can, can can the same rules be um, somehow used to teach you about how also to do that in relationship to uh, bigger systems like society and Absolutely. culture. Intuition. Intuition. This is a big aspect here. Where our intuition is switched on because we we have pundits and uh, even amongst you know what we would call what we would call this scene here the the awakening or the or the alternative reason we have our pundits too and i'll tell people not to even trust what i'm saying go out and do your own research and then you know verify it or just say just this just just come to you know say oh well thomas sharon's talking bullshit and then do your own thing but it's, this is because we're handing over our intuition constantly what we have to do is to develop our intuition in this just like it's a it's an organ it's just like any other aspect of our being it's there for a reason and exists for a reason it's a feedback mechanism that seems to operate between our heart uh, and our solar plexus and our frontal cortex and it gives us um, it gives us a small faint signal of when something is right or something is wrong when something is wrong with it's, it gives us what we would call the red flag. Now we have been trained to suppress these things, but also our ego will suppress them as well. If you're a woman who counts as a psychopathic man, and the red flags go off now and again, like he does things like have you know a temper tantrum or you know an explosive rage. But if he's really good looking and have lots of money, she'll switch off her intuition and ignore her red flags. And every single person who's ever been through the personal psychopathic experience always tells us the same things my intuition was switched off and I ignored the red flags because my ego was on top of that telling me well you know you'll lose this you'll lose that you know so you know play the game play the game and that's what goes on in a uh, at the greater level as well intuition is probably the most the most lost and forgotten uh, internal uh, psychological and emotional resource we have that we've that we have a uh that we have uh, abandoned. Well, we haven't abandoned it. It's actually been educated out of us. We've got to get that sorted. We've got to. We've got to get that back. And uh, I mean, I, I don't know what it is now, but like, I think also creativity is very, very good for that. I find crea creative people have tremendous uh, intuitive. Uh, Values and incredible, uh, very good intuitive uh, responses. They know when things are are going on. And so do elderly women for some reason, and so do gay men. It's, I'm not sure why, but their gay men have phenomenal <laughs> intuition. I think it's and scientific. It's not, just towards, it's not just towards sexual politics. They're amazing yeah. when it comes to lots of things. They, I they think it's a tremendous intuition. This this scientific uh, reasoning behind that, uh, I remember uh, seeing something about um, the size of um, uh, of the part in your brain that governs empathy, and one of the things that, of course, it does not make you gay to have uh, increased empathy, but it uh, makes you prone um, to to t have a tendency uh, towards that. So there is actually some scientific proof for well, there that. There you exactly. go, yeah. Exactly. There you go, so there, that's, that's, that's where you get the intuitive gay man from. That's very interesting, and the mother too, you know, they found that, I think I read somewhere that women who had more children tend to be more intuitive as well. This could be from just motherhood and actually observing their children growing up and developing a skill set from that. I, I but think intuition, it's, absolutely. It's like, well, it's like, I mean, you know, I think I, I'm always amazed by how have the lack of intuition that many people have. I mean, to me, from day one, it was obvious that Al Gore, with his whole man-made climate thing, change thing, was a complete bullshitter. It was it was completely sold on fake emotions, you know, neuro-linguistic programming. If you watch his movie, it's a ma you know an inconvenient truth documentary. It's a masterclass in uh, neuro-linguistic programming. The music reaches a certain crescendo when he starts talking about polar bears. There's even the scene where 
he ascends on the cherry picker up the graph to imply him a sort of Christ-like figure who's been the guy who was uh, who lost the election to Bush, to Bush but he has risen from the dead like Christ to ascend and save us as the uh, as the climate man you know as the climate Christ the climate Christ has risen and, and, and this is this is the oldest trick in the book and I'm amazed and when I remember watching that movie for the first time in a friend's house I was literally rolling on the floor laughing and the other people in the room were like y you're not concerned about this well it's because people have not been taught classical uh, rhetoric uh, they do not know how uh, presentation is done they, they they don't know how we are manipulated emotionally um, you don't have to go all the way to something like uh, Inconvenient Truth. You can just go to something like uh, you talked about uh, uh, movies like American Psycho um, and you talked about um, some of the old um, um, some of the old horror movies. The, the way that people uh, use uh, cutting uh, techniques, rhythm, music, yeah. uh, to set moods. And, Pregnant and pause as method acting, yes. It's, it's, it's yeah. all the same thing, it's all it's all mechanics, yeah. it's all stage show, it's all uh, sound and fury. It's theater. It's theater, and, 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 and the fact that people... Well, that's where it comes from, it comes from, it comes from, you know, Tudor times, it comes from Shakespeare, that's, that was when they first, and then it goes back probably a little further to... All the way to the Greeks, Greece. yeah. Yeah, the, to the, the you know that's why they built amphitheaters every. They built amphitheaters all over the, the Greek and Roman empires in the middle of nowhere for the same reason they built uh, the British built uh, public schools in the middle of Ireland in the middle of nowhere. Same reason, indoctrinate the masses and give you fake experiences, which is maybe uh, fake experiences. Yeah. Because when you when you are in a situation where you are watching a show or engaging in some sort of entertainment uh, with a narrative, then what you do is that you put yourself in that uh, state of disbelief um, and then you empathize if you are a normal human being. That means that uh, this is why pornography actually works. It's because you are imagining that you are in that movie. Yes, and, and it's yes. the same when you are looking at a stage. You are imagining that you are one of those characters. And then the, the, the difference really is, who are you equating yourself to? Who are you uh, calling your hero? Um, there was a nice uh, story with uh, that Bruce Willis uh, uh, movie, um, where he's uh, a natural born hero and fighting this uh, protagonist in the shape of uh, a cripple. It's, it's always the same things, right? It's always the, the, the good and the bad mask. It's that, um, um, especially when you talk about secret societies, uh, the black and the white uh, uh, parts of the checkerboard, right? You are, yes. you are being told a story the whole thing around you is set up to be a stage yep. because you are no longer supposed to live your own life you do not have will you cannot write the story they will write it for you they yep. will show you the rules they will tell you whether or not you're fit to play that character or not because yep. uh, if you believe that narrative then you will kill your own will exactly yeah